If you watch extraction one before watching extraction two, lift your hand. Yes, I'm guilty. I did that. I'm like, why not? Welcome to the channel, guys. My name is Bevlin. If you are new here, do want to be part of the you know 1000 and counting subscribers. Go we'll turn on your bell button so that whenever I post a new video, you, my friend, would be notified. And to most Nipana Yeshu to Nikomun war extraction one when he didn't die. Then he came back to give us extraction two. You were telling us that oh, the one who was shot in his neck in extraction one, he didn't die. If he were a villain, he would have died. But who are we? Who am I to question that? And let's get right into the movie. Um, from the start, you know, they tried to, you know, sell us this idea of Tyler going in retirement. You know, he just sitting in his cabin, just chilling out. Whilst they were showing us on the other side a glimpse of what, you know, were, um, of who he was going to go up against in the future, right? So how ruthless they are, their money, their resources, the number of men they have, the weapons they had, and then all that. And I think that the Extraction 2 gig came quite early. Okay, I think the job came quite early from um, um, his ex, um, ex-wife. And so that will take me into the, what, the pace of the movie. Because the scenes were progressing so fast, it meant that you had to be, you know, attentive watching the movie. No distraction. Because the scenes were moving quite fast. Very, 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 very fast. Now, I will blend the pace of the movie with the creativity of the action that we saw. Okay. The scenes were absolutely crazy you had to be like i was like attentive and i couldn't sit still watching extraction too i couldn't i'm moving my body i'm like hey is the thing going to hit me like i couldn't sit still not at all but i want to ask you was everything believable the fine of the gun the fight let's say for instance the incident in the prison when he went to you know rescue the excess sustaining her children who gets hit by a brick and does not pass out? Tyler. He even gets up to go and rescue the lady. I get the fact that he's a great fighter. He has trained for it. That's what he does. And he fights a lot. But someone who came out from the hospital not long ago get hit by a brick on his head. And you are telling us that he, he was not supposed to pass out. Imagine if the tables had turned. If Tyler had hit someone with a brick, the person wouldn't get up again. Ain't you know, you're a young crowd. We are not children. Okay. Now to the gunshot. I really like the way they dressed whoever they were shooting with the gunshot. It could start from your feet up to your head. Just because of the protective, you know, um, armor or outfit that they were wearing. So they had to shoot you. you make sure they are shooting your legs. Make sure they are shooting your um, neck or just exactly on your head. I like that bit. I like how they were, you know, just dressing you up with their gunshots and boom, boom, boom. that one was really nice. But take when Tyler was on the train, the moving train. He went up there and then he was being shot at. And not even a single bullet hit the guy. But he fired a gun and the um, aircraft blew up. Charlie, you crowd. Like, how is that possible? He was on the train exposed and there were so many people in the aircraft who were firing guns at him so many of them and not even one hit the man but he just fires boom and the plane is you know blows up <laughs> what do you take us for we said we want action but we didn't say we want unbelievable action we want action but we want a believable action why are you taking us for a ride or what that, that's an idea. That, that part and it was totally off for me. Totally, totally, totally off. It was too fake. It wasn't real. It wasn't true. Huh? Now, I like the bulletproof vehicles that they used in there, though. Uh, it showed that they had prepared very well and they knew what they were going into. And so they had to get this extra protection just so you know they could be protected. Now, moving on to the scene where Tyler had already taken them down the airplane and then they were going. Now, when Yaz was making the call and was saying where they were going to land in how many minutes, I knew that Sandra was going to steal the phone. That scene was quite predictable to me. I'd seen it so many times in so many movies where there is this one particular character who messes the entire thing up, the entire thing up by, you know, stealing a phone or, you know, just something similar. So that scene was very, very, very predictable to me. And I felt like it wasn't anything new. It wasn't unique. 
okay we had seen it so many times so that was what i made of um that particular scene fast forward they land and you know sandra had made a call so his uncle and then his team were coming but can you really go into a country and you know cause this much mess or this much chaos just because you are going after somebody like is it really possible is it really real or you are just giving us a movie you know a lot of action in the movie doesn't make it a good one it doesn't the story must make sense to us and just going there even though you know the police um came around the enforcement came around but is it really possible to just go and just start shooting and just start firing guys 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 <laughs> we've watched a lot of movies and we expected better i expected better okay on an emotional level i was really moved when he has died i was so pained his sister um, his sister's reaction i was like oh I, I, I was I was moved. Now I think that Tyler had a good relationship. Like he knew how to manage kids. He knew how to handle them. Look at Extraction One, and then look at the um, the two, the little girl. He even winking at the girl, encouraging the girl. You know, don't worry, everything's going to be fine. I think he has a good handle of you know kids. And that was really um, nice to watch. And on an emotional level, again, I like the fact that he had this conversation with his wife that you know gave him some kind of closure that would make him you know forgive himself a little bit. You know, despite. Um, that he's going through he blaming himself for not being around when his son died and you know just around that so i was really glad that that conversation happened now i want to talk about the how the movie ended if you have watched luther then you know that luther and extraction 2 had the same ending funny enough the character who played luther was the one in extraction but the table had turned and he was the one making the offer in luther um idris was given a job by the government so he was you know, taken out of prison and then given a job by the government and in extraction two tyler and his lady were also offered a job so that ending too was too familiar when i was, I was like hey, you and then you even go, go to bring the luther character to come and then be the one making the offer oh, 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 oh. there were so many familiar scenes i mean on a whole it was good the action you know how fast the action scenes were how they fired the guns how they were fighting how they were you know focused just giving and then delivering it was good the characters did amazingly well sandro played his role very well the little girl the wife i mean everybody nailed their role the creativity was great and it brought something extra to the extraction too but there were a few things that i felt were off and we're too familiar and not too unique to the storyline so this is what i made of it if you disagree leave your comments in the comment section um i'll be there to respond do well to like this video do well to subscribe and be part of my family okay i'll see you again next time until then take care bye